morning my friends. We are at Graceland again today, but we're not doing anything Elvis related. Today we're going to check out their special Disney exhibit. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. It's not in the Jungle Room Bar, it's in the Exhibition Center over here. I've never been in this building before. This thing's monstrous. Alright, so we got an add-on ticket. It is not part of the Graceland admission. It was, I think, $17. Let's go check this out. And I guess there was a different fee because it's this is actually a Disney thing here at the Exhibition Center. It's not a Graceland thing. Here's an aerial overview map from 1953 of Disneyland. Some Disneyland brass markers and some of the surveying monument equipment. Here's a picture of Walt's office. Walt Disney's necktie and his pen and eyeglasses. And the Little Mermaid figurine. Here's some of the original drawing, concept drawings, pitch meeting drawings for some of the rides and some of the attractions they would originally do. And take a look at this right beside Walt over here. They have a recreation of Disney. The studio says when Disney artists moved into the new animation building in Burbank in 1940, they found specially designed desks and cabinets waiting for them. Walt commissioned industrial designer Kem Weber to help craft the look and feel of the studio lot and offices as well as design or a custom furniture, meeting the needs of each artist, creating a comfortable and efficient work environment. Here's one of the early signs to the archives building at Walt Disney Studios in Burbank. Here's a telegram to Roy Disney from Walt. And there's an original preview press pass for Disneyland from its opening. And the book Lady and the Tramp, autographed by Walt Disney. Looks like a crayon. Here's a Disney Studios production sign. And they have a traveling makeup kit. And the Disney commissary menu. And here they have some animation drawings from Plane Crazy in 1929. And there are some of the story script pages from Steamboat Willie. And this is from Saving Mr. Banks. That's a reproduction poster they used for set decoration. Now we're heading into the back room. Look at some of this stuff. It's Mary Poppins carpet bag. How cool is that? Used in Mary Poppins in 1964. And then down here we have the Congo Queen model. Jungle Cruise. And Zorro's sword. And that is from <laughs> Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. The original one. Walt used this engineer Mickey for opening day. 1955 and then here you can see the magic bed knob right over there from bed knobs and broomsticks and then you also have the magic ring from Shaggy the dog and of course Davy Crockett's coonskin cap and the Mary Poppins alphabet nursery blocks there's Jimmy Dodd's mouse guitar from the Mouseketeers. And then some of the original clay models for Sparky Mulan and Dick Tracy. There's the King of Hearts. And the prop storybooks from Cinderella and the Sword in the Stone, how they would always start it with it opening up. Snow White. 
This is Pinocchio's live action recreation costume that they used for 1940. Show what they wanted this costume to be like. And then this is from Return to Oz. It's part of the set. That's kind of cool. That's the 35 millimeter film reel canister from Love Me Tender. That's Fox. And the Disney hairstyling and makeup department. Now I'll take a look in here. RX-24 from Star Tours. Here's the Mayan priest from the Mexican temple. Wow. The alien. And then look at all this. Wow. Look at all the costumes over here. Here's one of the Pirates of the Caribbean, original pirates. And then from the Haunted Mansion, the tombstones and the ghosts. In memory of Grandpa Mayor. There's the Jungle Lookout attraction sign. And these are from What About Bob? <laughs> That's the family puppets that Dr. Marvin uses. That's hilarious. There's Siggy, and Dr. Leo Marvin, Faye, and Anna. Oh, wow. And then these are from Isle of the Dogs. Those are the puppets they used. And the live action Winnie the Pooh. Look, it's the Rocketeer and Dick Tracy costumes. Jetpack, so cool. The airplane is from The Rocketeer, also. And that's the Dick Tracy steam engine. Here's the pretty woman dress. Oh my god, there's the honey, I shrunk the kid shrinking machine. Can't believe they have this. And then here's Herbie, the original Herbie. You can tell by the uh, the numbers. Kind of worn. Here's the Tron motorcycle. Jack Sparrow's compass. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. And the real Wilson. That's from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. There's June Carter's Walk the Lion outfit that Reese Witherspoon wore. And her auto harp from the movie. Ken Miles uniform from Ford vs. Ferrari. That's the Bohemian Rhapsody kick drum head. Those are Drew Barrymore slippers from Ever After, a Cinderella story. X-Men claws. And Wolverine's costume. And the Moulin Rouge costume. French Planet of the Apes. Here's the Caramel Apple from Enchanted. And then here's showing how they do the animation process. And there's the Disney Legends Award on display. Sir Elton John. Jim Henson. Robin Williams. And that will do it for the archives. Well, my friends, I hope you all enjoyed this little jaunt down Disney Archives history lane. It's pretty cool. I mean, seeing Wilson, the volleyball, seeing the Rocketeer stuff, seeing the Dick Tracy, that was all super cool. But the What About Bob puppets and the 
Honey, I Shrunk the Kid shrinking machine, I think, really just made my day. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have a great night. And make sure you get out to Graceland and check this out while it's here. Goodbye.